Thank you. Uh, questions for any of the panel members? What exactly isn't it Governor Nixon's decision on whether Missouri accepts or rejects unemployment money? Or can the Senate or I, I, I got the idea that the Senate and House can't just unilaterally reject it unless they Well, I think the, the question is you have to go back and modify our existing unemployment law uh, and change that, and, and that's the decision. The, the requirements, as I understand from the federal dollars, is you have to make modifications uh, related to your existing unemployment law, and I, that is our decision. I mean, certainly, uh, you know, work with the governor's office and, and trying to figure out how to receive funds and not receive funds, but when it comes to statutory changes, that really does fall into our lap. Charlie, so, just last week, the governor's office put out a news release saying that they had signed some agreement so that would allow unemployed workers in Missouri to get an extra $25 a week or something. Is, is that in jeopardy? Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I think what we're talking about is the ability to extend benefits. Uh, I don't know if Kevin's our expert on un unemployment, uh, but there are provisions that you have to meet two or four tests uh, to do that within this to receive those federal funds to receive extended benefits on that. And I think that's a separate issue, but I don't know if Kevin wants to speak to that or. Well, I, I think he's right. It, that's a completely separate issue. And the strings that are attached to the stimulus package is what we're really getting at. Um, you know, we ha the, according to the stimulus package, we would have to change existing law, and the governor can't can't do that, obviously. So, if he's taking money under the provision that we're going to change the law, I think that's a decision he's made that he can't make. So, you're, so you're saying you're going to not? You guys, sorry, excuse me. Uh, not taking funds to stimulus uh, package. Is there a percentage of that isn't going to be accepted? You guys have any idea of a number yet uh, that that's going to be? We're, we're, we're taking a look at the stimulus package piece by piece. Our staff is reading that. Uh, Barney, my chairman of workforce development, can comment to your David about that $25 <clears throat> if you want to, Barney. But you know we're going to take our time. We're actually going to read the bill and we're actually going to try to make sense of it. We'll take it at least on the House perspective when we think it's appropriate. But on this particular item, a change in uh, statute, we're not going to do that. Just so I can be clear on this, what do we have to, what would we be required as a state to change if we're to accept this federal money? You got that information, Barney? Is if it's one-time payment, that's one thing, but does it, would this require us to change our unemployment rules going on into the next It would require us to make some legislative changes. As I understand it now, the, the stimulus package uh, looks around $170 million. Uh, to qualify for that, uh, the, the first $40 million chunk would require a legislative change to, to uh, state law. And the remainder uh, is a, a laundry list of about four things, and, and each state would have to agree to two of those. I don't have a whole lot of specifics on those other than some of them uh, deal with uh, family leave and, and, and other things that, that we, we already have some in statute. but. But uh, the governor has tools. Uh, he, he's, I, I think, has plans of borrowing anywhere from 70 to to uh, 260 million dollars. He can also bond uh, up to 450 million dollars. So right now he has tools in his toolbox to address this without uh, requiring us to to change law to comply with to the stimulus. To shortfall. That's yes. already in the unemployment. Okay, you, you're just yes. saying you'd like a no strings attached bailout for the unemployment fund, right? The requirements that Representative Fisher just mentioned, or that referred to, there's you have to agree to at least two out of four of them, and they include things like awarding benefits to to temporary workers or part-time workers. This is a new mandated benefit for the state of Missouri, so they're in that genre of creating new mandates, new expenses for the trust fund that, frankly, uh, the legislature obviously is not too keen on in the business community. Uh, it's just uh, not right to burden them with shouldering these costs to begin with. And secondly, when we're talking about record unemployment, highest unemployment in 25 years, we're working to get to next year and try, trying to expect to ex have these expenses for years down the road. It's, it's absolutely the inappropriate time for that. And what do you define as a tax increase eventually on the road in businesses? Is that they'll have to pay for benefits for these temporary workers? Employers pay a tax to fund the unemployment insurance trust fund from which benefits are paid. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the, the pot of money that funds unemployment insurance in Missouri. It's from employers. It's from every business that's in Missouri. Uh, so 
it would be a tax increase, as these gentlemen are saying, and it would be shouldered by Missouri small and large businesses, and it's, it just absolutely is not the time to do that. It's it would the, be a tax increase when the federal stimulus money runs out to, yes. to continue yeah. at that level. That's what absolutely. So and and when, you're looking at the federal, people, when you're wrong, looking at the okay. federal stimulus money for unemployment um, to, get, to comply with these two out of four provisions, that's $88 million. The unemployment insurance problem could be a billion dollar problem within a year. This is essentially a federal bribe to change state laws permanently, and the bribe lasts two years or less. Last question. Definitely, there's no question in your mind that if we are going to accept this money, this one-time money, one time is the wrong word to use because it's not one time money, it's money and we are going to have to change the state's laws so that we will pay these benefits forevermore. Yes. Simple as that. One time right. money for a future commitment. Right. Yeah. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Probably put it as good as